This video is about creating your own scratch board, what works and what doesn't. Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own scratch board. Now, there are already a lot of videos out there that tell you, you know, you can use oil pastel sticks or um, crayons first on a white paper or a, a cardstock and then you can paint over it with acrylic in some videos they tell you to use you know you can use india ink in some videos they tell you to use tempera paint i actually tried all of them and not all of them work so here's what's what i'm going to do in this video i'm going to show you what happens if you use crayon and india ink crayon and acrylic crayon and tempera and which of those combinations actually work but I will also try oil pastel sticks and acrylic, oil pastel sticks and tempera, oil pastel sticks and India ink. That way, if there's more than one combination that works, you know, you can see the difference between these combinations that work and then you can make a decision on which ones would you like to use for your um, scratch art. So I hope you stay with me. What I'm going to do next is I am going to color these little cardboards that I cut for this particular experiment. Stay with me. Now that all of my little boards are already, um, you know, covered with either oil pastel um, or um, crayon, I am going to start painting them with the black ink or black paint. I will start with tempera paint. So this is the tempera paint I'm using for this particular um, test. So let me cover each one of these. Okay. So this one is um, crayon. And I noticed that I'm not having a hard time covering the crayon with tempera paint. So that would be good. Okay, so that's the first coat for there. And here is the uh, oil pastel. It's, you can see it's a little bit more resistant. But oil pastel is a little bit more resistant than the crayon. So let's see what happens. Just this is the first coat only. I'm gonna add the second coat here. So I always like them really dark. So I am going to let it dry for a little bit and then add another coat. Okay, now this time I will be painting um, using um, the acrylic paint on, over crayons and over oil pastel sticks. Now, um, in some videos they will tell you to mix um, your acrylic paint with um, a little bit of soap, you know, this liquid soap. And the reason for that is to make sure that the acrylic actually sticks to the crayons or the oil pastel because um, uh, crayons and oil, you know, they're, they're made out of wax and oil pastel is another story. And, um, you know, acrylic don't typically stick to them, right? So to make them stick, um, they use soap. I tried that. I also tried the one where you don't use soap. Just for this particular test, I want to show you both so you can see, you know, whether there's a difference, you know, or whether there isn't any difference, whether you mix it with soap or not. So one is mixed with soap and the other one isn't. So what I'm going to do is on this board where it says crayon and acrylic, half of it, I will use the acrylic with uh, mixed with soap and the other half of it is acrylic without soap and do the same thing with this board where I use oil pastel sticks. Let's get this going. As you can see, acrylic covers 
all of this right away. Okay. So there's that. It doesn't take much to cover the entire uh, section, okay, and make it look um, opaque. Now I'm going to do the other half here. Okay, and then so there's that. And then I will be the other half, I'll be using the one without the soap. Okay, do the same thing here. Oops. I'm gonna retouch that. Let's see, do, we need, do I need to add another coat? It doesn't seem like I have to add another coat because these are already very opaque. So that's for the acrylic and um, later when they're fully dry, we're going to test if this works. Next thing I'm going to um, apply would be the um, India ink. Okay. Okay, and this last part, I am going to use India ink and this is the India ink I'm using. I don't, I'm not so sure if I showed you which acrylic paint I used earlier for these um, two other boards. Anyway, this is the acrylic paint that I used over these two boards. So now, usually when I use the India ink, I don't put it in a separate container since um, I can just drop some on the paper. And that's usually what I do. So just a small portion, a small amount. Actually, not a small amount that's quite a bit there but anyway there it is and then just very very patiently and I say very very patiently spread it because it will this is actually this is um, oil pastel and in the ink um, as you can see very very resistant but believe it or not you know you'll be able to cover this entire little board with this in the ink no problem it just will take a lot more patience and than you know acrylic you can see you only need like one coat here you would actually need three coats okay so that's the first coat there okay so it's still very translucent, right? So we're going to um, let it sit for a little bit and then add another coat and then add another coat. So I will do the same thing here for the crayons. This board where I use crayons on. Ooh, look at that. It looks really resistant, doesn't it? Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. And like I said, patience is the key when you're using ink. So at first it's very resistant, but you notice now it's holding on to that black ink better now than earlier. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. See? It's just spread, spread. Okay, now I'm going to add another one here, but before I do that, I'm just going to try to use up the ones that are on my brush already, so I'm not using up a whole bunch of my ink. Let it sit, and then add another coat, and that's what I will be doing, and then once they're all dry, I will show you which of these boards are going to be successful and which ones aren't okay so stay tuned okay don't leave me stay with me that way you are not spending money unnecessarily on materials that don't work okay now for the great reveal which one works and which one doesn't 
acrylic doesn't work and these two boards I use acrylic one half of this I use acrylic mixed with liquid soap and the other half is just acrylic same thing here and whether it's over crayon or over oil pastel acrylic just doesn't work for a DIY scratch board so let's forget about that I don't want to have to spend more time discussing about acrylic because really it doesn't work now let's take a look at the other options that we have on these two boards I used um, tempera paint and it does work over crayon and over oil pastel on these two I used um, India ink and again it works over crayon and oil pastel but if you want the scratching part to be like scratching butter I would go with um, India ink and oil pastel when I was writing my name on this it's like writing my name on butter with this stick okay with tempera it's okay I guess um, it still has that feel but it seems like uh, there's so much more dust and you have to you know you have to always have to brush off that dust all the time less dust actually when you're using um, India ink but both work if you like that uh, chalkboard look I would go with tempera if you want it to be a little bit more you know brighter you know the part that you scratch look brighter I would go with oil pastel and then paint with uh, coat the top with tempera because you can see the um, it's just uh, shine I don't know the contrast is uh, better than crayon okay but they both work okay so thank you very much for watching and again what's the conclusion don't use acrylic use tempera over crayon or oil pastel or use India ink over crayon or oil pastel if you are making your own um, scratch board because those are the ones that work. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe for you know more videos in the future so that you're you're notified. And please leave a comment whether you agree or disagree or whether you like this video or not. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a great morning, evening, day. Or, you know, depending on what time it is where you live. Bye for now.